everyone, I'm Rebel Hanga and welcome to more Red Dead Redemption. See Marshall. There's treasure buried out by real death. I remember this. A little bit. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. He fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next look in there. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Yeah, I won't. Yeah. Right. Let's go get Mr. McFarland back. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading the civilization of the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why 
Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. You ugly bastard. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Doubleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed, and that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pam. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. You think you're a man, do you? Yeah. I can't wait for you to meet the boy. Stop burning so hard, you son of a bitch! Tumble weeds across the bridge! be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead me into town. Make me stay. I'm shorting. You want to die, friend? Move! All right, I'm moving. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She's been fucked so good. Get these ropes! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. They shot their friend. At the sniper guy. to 
go save Gun. Where is she, you bet? Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? Thank you, no nothing. Okay. Can I have this? But yeah, we saved her life. What happened to Norman? I wasn't there to see if they killed him or not. Right, there are some bodies over there. They killed Norman, huh? Yeah. I think this is Norman's body. He was looking for his treasure, I guess.
Come on! Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? Uh, how you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> OK. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. <laughs> OK, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house.
partner. Smoke him. You should run off home. Them all. You gotta find the treasure for me. Please, I'm begging you. We ain't got much time. Sorry about this, partner. You gotta go now. It's our last chance. It's locked. It's locked. Let's try around the back. Seth. Jesus, what? There ain't a man amongst you can take me! Look out! I can He's be there! Jeeper! Right in your face. I need it more than you now. Try shooting with your eyes open! Are you gonna shoot somebody? After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. 
And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. So, uh, we have to do some stuff to all like the treasure hunter's outfit. Don't think you'll be needing this. You don't know my wife, miss. Appreciate that. Oh, we well, have read this one, I guess. Yeah, you can pause and read it if you want.
still alive. Don't make me shoot me, pal. He nearly got me.
We'll take it from here. Here's your payment. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> now this time, we can get that place. And we don't have to kill that old man. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200, I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here. Don't be starting no trouble now. All right then.
argument. I have to talk to my friend, then I will take it down the deep. Property owners or not? Howdy. You got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Ah, your body is all All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Oh, we... Yeah, we're good. He gave my money back. That's good. Now, let's get back to our medulla. Yeah! Are 
Interest rates are very low right now. Uh, hello. I'm gonna give that bartender the hiding of his life for water in this goddamn whiskey. So yeah, she's a robber. Take care of her here. Whoever built you knew what he was doing. Oh, monsieur, maybe later. Hell, I'll be running this town by winter. I by sure hope word. the Federals take over so I can put my feet up. A fine transaction. I need a shortcut. Nice doing business. You are looking well. I hear they pay through the nose over the border. Crazy. Liquor me up. Give a man some gin. I'm not the kind to repeat gossip. Alright guys, we're gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.